Hello, I am Raylene Osberg from Thriving Together. Today, I'm here to share some ideas with you for stimulating baby's brain development. <laughs> While we do the webinar, Building Baby's Brain Powers, we go through some songs and playful chants that you can do with infants and toddlers. So I am here with my baby <laughs> to sing some songs and show you some of these wonderful chants that you can use to stimulate all areas of development in that young infant you're working with. So the infant needs to be at least six months old, have a stronger neck, right? Where they can hold their neck themselves as they move around. And then you can do these activities. By the time they're 10, 11, 12 months old, they love these activities so much that they will anticipate and get excited when you just even start singing the song. Are you ready? Let's go. Song number one, it's called Bumping Up and Down in My Little Red Wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. Won't you be my darling? <laughs> you will see the infant start to light up and get excited. If they don't, they're kind of grumpy. Maybe you want to come back to the songs and chants a little bit later. Here is one of my very favorite songs. It's called Airplanes. Airplanes flying through the sky, zoom, zoom. Airplanes flying through the sky, zoom, zoom. Round and round the world they go, flying high, flying low. Listen, I think I hear one now, zoom. <laughs> so after a little while, what will happen is as you get towards the Zoom part, they'll, they'll kind of start to get excited and anticipate what is coming next. Here's another song. It's called Tick Tock. Tick Tock, Tick Tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick Tock, Tick Tock. Now I'm striking one o'clock. Cuckoo! Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now I'm striking two o'clock. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Think for a moment about this simple little song. They're hearing the words, so they're learning language. They're hearing numbers and they're feeling with all of their senses. They are having the social emotional experience with you of enjoying learning. And this is increasing the likelihood they'll want to keep learning with you in the future. All of this is helping the language and the learning go into their brain. Here's another song that you can do to promote language development and bolster brain pathways for infants and toddlers. It's called Bubbles. Floating, 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 pop, 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 pop. Bubbles floating here, bubbles floating there. Float and pop, float and pop. Yay, maybe, right? So you're going to see this lights them up. They get so excited to do this learning with you. Here's another song that you can sing. Remember, the more senses involved in the learning, the more learning goes in their brain. So here we go. It's called Round and Round the Garden. Round and Round the Garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two step. Tickle under there. <laughs> what you'll see is by the second or third time you do it, they'll start to anticipate that little tickle and get excited about it even before you do it. Next, I'm going to show you two songs that you don't really need to be holding the infant for. This is great if you have lots of kids you're caring for. So obviously you can't hold all of the babies or toddlers at once, or, and you're otherwise in a situation where holding them isn't realistic. The first one. It's the beehive. 
you put your thumb inside your hand and you go, here is the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden inside where nobody sees. Watch the bees flying out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five bees. <laughs> then you check all the toddlers. Isn't that funny? And so they're hearing the numbers. They're even gaining math skills. Who knew I could teach math? I didn't even do that great math. I can. I'm saying the numbers. I'm showing my fingers. I'm singing in a song and making it fun. And it's going into their brain. Last one I'm going to do for today is one of my favorites. I do this. I build it in as a routine when I'm sitting down with the toddlers at snack time. So I go, open, shut them, open. Bin shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them. Creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chinny chin chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. <laughs> I can just see the toddlers of my circle time lighting up as I sing that because they get so happy. I hope you enjoy these songs and chants. And know when you take the time to do fun and engaging learning, that really matches where the child's at and increases the amount of sensory experience they're having, more goes into their brain. What you do when you're caring for these infants and toddlers literally shapes their brain. So thank you for all that you do. Give yourself a hug and a pat on the back and say, I rock because I care for babies. <laughs> See you later. Over now. out.